of knocking down that mid-range jumper. 24 points in their last game, plus nine rebounds. Both of those season highs to lead more. Hop step in the lane for Charlton. The kick, the extra pass. And Moore gets the bounce on the triple. That's great ball. Professional players, it's always all, it, it gets you in awe, even as a player yourself. Darius Quisenberry's three is through. Richardson Sims gets it over, but how about Abdul Sambilla says no. You will get nothing, and you will like it. Another block there, another look here. Puts it against the glass. Go ahead, Ab. Work is going to be better than other bigs. Now, at a size disadvantage, they're kind of retrans reversing the jump shot there. He also, after back door, more from yeah, Charlton. Perfectly designed there. Off the pass for Moore. Moore just goes right to the basket, Charlton says. Arrows and everything has been contested. Charlton weaving down the lane. Simbila on the bounce for two. Quisenberry to Nowitzki with six to shoot. It's Richardson, and it's a three. For Fordham, step through Quisenberry. Rose, open. Got it for three. Quisenberry pops and hits. No third chance. He was stripped, and that will do it. It was not pretty. It was not easy. It was tight for almost a full 40 minutes, but it's another Fordham win. They're five for five in this building. They win three times in four days to win the inaugural Tom Konchowski Classic. And again, the Jim O'Connell most outstanding player is Darius Quisenberry. Honorable mention, I guess, to Khalid Moore, yep. who had a big game on Saturday and was Fordham's leading scorer here tonight with a Rams career high 24 for him.